guys welcome back okay so yesterday or i don't know it might be a couple of days past <laughs> by the time i get this video up i did a look using this cara beauty dusk to dawn eyeshadow palette but the look that i did was just a very simple deep dark gray and black smoky eye which isn't really representative of what you can do with this palette. <laughs> so I did go ahead and use this bottom row down here and it created a beautiful smoky eye that I was very happy with. Wonderful formula, very easy to use, but I figured since this palette has so many other colors in it that I wanted to play around with some more of the shades. So that's how I got this kind of deep, plummy fall look that I created today. Now this intro is going to be really short and sweet. Bottom line, I like this palette. The more that I use it, that's the more that I notice how easy the shades are to blend out, how pigmented they are, how smooth they are. I mean, I like this palette. So what I want to do today before I jump into this look is just give you some swatches of this Cara Beauty palette. Now this retails on their website for $28.74, which is a very weird price, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, $28.74 for this palette. You do get what, 35 shades, I believe, seven, five, yeah. 35 shades, so it's a nice number of shadows for that price. And like I said, the quality is just really nice. So let me go ahead and swatch this palette for you guys so you can check it out and then we'll move forward into this look. Okay, you guys, so I think the swatches of this palette kind of speak for themselves. It is a absolute beautiful color story. I mean, you get the beautiful rainbow shades, different variations, blues, reds, oranges, purples, pinks. You also get, I know it looked like the swatches weren't that great, but swatches over here are really, really basically my skin tone. That's why you can't see them but you get your neutral shades, you get your gorgeous grays and blacks and silvers. Uh, Yeah, I like this palette. It is a really nicely well-rounded palette for about 29 bucks. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and jump into this look for today. Okay, so does anybody else ever sit down to film and have no idea which palette they wanna use? This is me being confused for a good 30 minutes. So I finally decided to jump back into this Cara Beauty Dusk to Dawn palette. It is gorgeous, as you can see, very vibrant and colorful. So I wanna start out this look using the matte red shadow in this palette. There's no names, so I won't be able to call names for the colors, but we'll just do it old school and call out the actual color name. So this is just a basic matte red shadow. And as you can see, I am using this as the base color for this look. I'm just taking a dense brush and tapping that red all throughout my crease because I want this to be the main color for this look today. And it is nicely, nicely pigmented as you can see. 
Now I wanted to blend out the edge of that red shadow, so I'm going into the orange in this palette, just your basic orange, using that to blend out the edges of that red shadow. And it blended out so easily. I mean, it was just seamless how it blended out that edge. I didn't have any dark lines or any problems with that red not blending out. I really, really like how these shadows perform. Now I decided I wanted to go ahead with a dark lid today. So I'm going into this really, really dark purple shade. It's kind of like a blue purple. And I'm just using a flat packing brush to put that all over my lid space. Just making sure that it's evenly coated. And it is extremely pigmented, as you can see. Very, very dark, very beautiful, true to the color that's in the pan. I wasn't sure how I was going to marry this color with my crease color, but I decided to go in with this pretty, it's kind of like a... I don't know, is it a magenta? Kind of like a purpley pink magenta shade. And I'm just using that in my crease area to blend that dark shadow into that red using a very small fluffy brush to just blend those two shades together as much as I can. I decided to drag that dark color out a little bit out into my outer corner just to add a little bit more drama to this look. There wasn't very much fallout from this palette, very, very little fallout, so very easy cleanup. Now I'm using my NYX Matte Black Liquid Eyeliner just to create a nice wing for this look. I decided I wanted to keep this pretty simple. I only used a few shades on my lid, no shimmers, all matte fall look today. For my lower lash line, I'm going in with my Milani Stay Put Liner, and this one is a waterproof liner. And to smoke out my lower lash line, I'm going back into that dark, purple blue shade that I used on my lid just kind of smoking out that lower lash line I really really like how that shadow performs it blends out beautifully and to bring some of that red down to my lower lash line I decided to just drag it in that inner corner of my lower lash line just to keep this look completely matte for mascara today I'm using this um LA Girl Volumatic Lash Lifting Mascara. It's a pretty nice mascara. I can't say it's my favorite, but it works pretty well. I do prefer the Pixie Mascara over this one though. And for my lips, finally, I'm able to dive into one of my beautiful fall vampy shades. This one is the LA Girl Matte Flat Velvet Lipstick in the color Va Boom. Very, very pretty plum color. I think it went perfect with this eye look. I'm setting this look with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, of course. And you guys, I just, I cannot get over how this lip color looked with this eye look. I love it. Love the deep, vampy shades. So... For this palette, I like it. It's very easy to use. I believe it's affordable. It's pigmented. It is just a really, really great palette. Blends out easily, no issues, and it's very versatile. There are a lot of shades to use in this palette. So if you're thinking about picking it up, I'd say it's a great buy. So that's it for this video, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!